To automate the saving of Microsoft Form responses to a SharePoint list, it's very simple with Microsoft Power Automate. And let's learn how to do it. So let's get started by creating a new form on Microsoft Forms. So it will be a very simple feedback form. Let's add some fields to it. So one field for the name, another field for the email address, and now one more field for the feedback. And now here, let's just toggle also uh, the long answer. And that's basically it for the form. So now let's click on collect responses and anyone can respond. And now let's get uh, the form URL. And that's pretty much it. So now we can close and see if you can access the form. And here we can see it. So now uh, let's create the SharePoint list. So I'm here on SharePoint. So I'll click here to create a new list. And so uh, let's start from a blank list. And now let's define the list name. So it can be feedback. And now here we can select where we want to save uh, the list. So I'll save here. And now let's click on create. List created. Now let's add a column for each uh, form field that we have. So let's add a column for the field name. Let's add another column for the field email. And let's add another column for the feedback. So we have created a column per each form field that we have. And now we can also hide here this default column. And so now that we have the form created and the SharePoint list created, let's uh, create our Power Automate flow. So here, let's click on create and let's create automated cloud flow. And so we'll choose this one because we want to trigger the flow when it's submitted a new form response. So when it's submitted a new form response, it will be added to the SharePoint list. So now here, let's define the flow name. So it can be a feedback form to list. And so here the trigger. So when a new response is submitted, so it's exactly this that we want from Microsoft Forms. So let's click on create. And so now uh, here, let's click on the trigger. Now let's pick the form that should trigger this flow, the form that we have created. So now that we have indicated the form that should trigger this flow, we need to get the form response details. So then after getting the details, we can add them to the SharePoint list. So for that, let's add a new action. And so here from Microsoft Forms Actions, uh, let's select get response details and so here form ID. So let's select the form that uh, we have indicated, the form that we have created. And now we have to provide the response ID which we get from the trigger. So if you go here and click on this icon, we can see here uh, that we can get the response ID from the trigger that we have defined. So let's select the response ID. And that's pretty much it. So uh, now next step after getting the response details, we want to have, so to create a new item on the SharePoint list with uh, the details from the form response. So here let's add an action and let's search for create item. And here we can see the action that allows to create item on the SharePoint list. So first, uh, let's indicate the site address. So the site to where the SharePoint list belongs. So I'll select. Now it will appear here the lists from the site. So will appear the one that we have created, as we can see. Now we have to do the mappings of uh, the response details data with the list columns. So here on advanced parameters, Let's select the columns that we want to write. So the name, email and feedback. So for the name uh, here, let's click on this icon 
And here you can see uh, the fields from the response details. So email, name, feedback, and now here we can see some additional uh, details from the response. So for the name, let's pass the name that comes on the response. Then for the email, let's get the email. And for the feedback, let's get the feedback from the response. And that's pretty much it. So now uh, let's save our flow. And now let's test it. So let's click here on test. And now let's select manually and let's click on test. So now uh, PartMath is waiting for a new response. So let's create it. So here on the feedback form, let's just submit a response. Let's submit. So now let's go back to PartMath. And so here you can see that the flow started because was submitted a new form response and everything ran successfully as we can see here. So now if we go back to the feedback list, so let's refresh, so let's refresh here. And here we can see a new item on the SharePoint list with the data from the form response. So let's test one more time. Let's go back here. And so now, whenever we submit a new form response, the flow will start automatically. If we want to disable that, we can just turn off. So let's submit another response. Let's here input some random data. Just another feedback. Let's submit. And so we will see that we'll be started a new flow execution, as we can see. So now if we go back to the SharePoint list, here we can see a new item with the data from the form response. And that's it for this tutorial. If you liked it, please give a thumbs up and now consider to subscribe to the channel and enable the notifications bell so you don't miss any tutorial released here on the channel.